friends, Jana is here and I am not making video from outside again and just trying to show you a little bit of the view out there guys. It's very cloudy, windy and rainy so yes, uh, unfortunately we still have some bad weather and uh, it's probably going to be all week. Yes, so I'm not sure about walking around in this weather condition, only just a little bit of... Uh, uh, walking between my apartments right now i'm in a new apartment again guys so basically it's pretty much all ready yes and uh, when the weather will improve a little bit i wanted to show you around so you would uh, see it still with a little bit uh, nicer and sunnier <laughs> weather okay because look at these clouds it's really 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 dark so um just a little bit of um you know updates about brexit because i know many people are asking what is happening uh what's the future for gibraltar after brexit and as uh, many of you know that uh we are still waiting for the uh, deal between uh, gibraltar and eu where uh, gibraltar will be uh, sharing with the eu schengen area and uh, that means which means for us for residents it is a free flow through the border not just only for us uh, who reside in Gibraltar but also for the EU citizens of course so um, they've been um, negotiating and negotiating since Brexit happened and we are still living in uncertainty and I was just reading some news today that it's quite possible that we will have the answer in June or by June by June yes and um, so there is a progress this time the saying that uh, the deal is pretty much nearly there but there is still one problem and of course that problem is uh, from Spain about um, sharing the uh, airport okay so basically as far as I understand maybe I'm a bit wrong so you can correct me because there is still no official papers or um, information or anything else I was not reading it's mine just uh, a bit of uh, what I'm getting from some um, sources that um, basically Gibraltar and EU have a kind of a agreement that they will be sharing the airport, checking the airport. So when you arrive, there will be uh, like a Schengen area, of course, so you will be checked uh, by uh, Gibraltarian and uh, European um guards right well let's call them guards okay so and uh, then you can go through to any obviously schengen uh, countries so um but um and that looks like kind of being agreed right uh but what spain wants as far as i understand they want uh to share uh, uh, airport as to use of it okay so not just uh, spanish guards presence in um, in the airport itself but also the use of the airport so for example like the flights um also uh, would be some i don't know from spain to gibraltar something like this so that's how i understand and that's uh, the problem because obviously the airport uh, is uh, the military area and um, of course uh, British don't want uh, uh, somebody else to tell them what to do. So that's how I understand it, guys, right? So uh, if I understand this correct way, then my bet is there will be no deal. Okay, <laughs> I think there will be no deal and um, we will end, end up uh, just uh, uh, being a third country third world country, you know, and uh, would need to have a visa to enter um, Schengen areas or like they're doing it now, the agreement is uh, that we can go for like whatever, like, three months or something you can go, but it will be again, yes, uh, booking the hotels, for showing the flights, um, I don't know what else, maybe like medical reasons they would allow us to have, but I think it's going to be like really restricted. Um, they will be um, checking out everyone and I believe that also Gibraltarians, the, who is, have permanent residency, those red cards which I'm waiting for, <laughs> they're also not going to be uh, useful anymore, so they all would have to have uh, visas or whatever um, they will agree on, uh, so they will also have the passport stamped. That's how I, uh, I see it, guys. I don't really want to be negative about it, but I do not really see anything positive going on through. I'm not really optimistic about the situation because I think if the airport would be 
not military use then it would be easier but because it is military use i do not think they're going to agree on this so um, that's how i feel uh guys will share with me and with everybody else in your comments what do you think uh wherever is it going to be possible not possible maybe some of you know a bit more information and um because you know i'm not um, really political person i'm completely out of all of this it's just you know whatever they tell i what can i what can i do i'm not an influencer you know on political decisions or something like that and i just never get into it because you can't please everyone you, you please some people you upset the other people and you know i just don't like i try to be always neutral and to be nice to everyone you know and uh, that's why just uh, it's it's just beyond me all these political things that's why of course i'm going to accept whatever they decide uh, of course it's going to upset uh, a lot um, people well i mean i guess especially if you are having a business or something like that but um, for me it's only going to be a problem of uh, going to spain unfortunately uh, it's not going to be as often just like we are suffering right now and also my parents because they have green cards and uh, basically the deal would let them to go free to Spain too with their green cards. So that would have been just amazing because my parents haven't been out of Gibraltar for nearly five years. Yeah. And um, well, I mean, it's not like really wanted to go somewhere, but it would be really nice, you know, to take uh, them sometimes somewhere in a nice uh, big forest or something. That's what um, we are really looking into, like, you know, going to mountains get some fresh air enjoy the more greenery out there so yeah and um, um, my mom can't go far anyway so uh, she's not feeling well when she's uh, on the journey some somewhere far but like about 15 20 minutes drive we have really nice areas here green where I would really love to take them so and unfortunately yes um, they need to also have Schengen because they do have Russian passports and we even had a problem to replace them, except, um, well, we fixed that problem. And uh, Schengen, to get for them, we need someone to actually come to the house to do it for them. But it seems to be also a nightmare because I was trying to get some other different companies, trying to ask, some saying, yes, they can come and collect all the information, but there is no guarantee that uh, Schengen will be for like, uh, for a year because it's no point to have it for like a week or something because uh it, it could be that uh, spain uh, might uh, give them uh, for the duration of the stay and uh, it's just because i really want would love to go a little bit more often and uh, also my dad is going to have uh, 75th birthday which is a quite big number for him and i thought it would be really nice to to go somewhere to take him but uh, that's why I was not making the for them Schengen visas yet because there is no guarantee if we would know they would be at least issued for six months we would do it uh, but waiting for this negotiation to finish finally so we would know uh, hope hopefully it will be done but now I'm just uh, I don't think it's going to be happening so my other thing is going to be maybe to take that to Morocco Yes, guys, so I can't take my mom, unfortunately, because she's uh, not as healthy to do such a trip, definitely. But I, I know it's only like about 40 minutes or like, I don't know how long it's from Gibraltar to Morocco to get uh, by the boat, of course, uh, ferry. Uh, I think it's a bit longer than from Tarifa or Hiziris. Uh, but um, might take just my dad, we'll go maybe together to just a little bit of present for him. <laughs> okay because all the birthdays celebrating here in jeep they're just sitting at home all the time and uh, not enjoying much of anything else well except uh, still nice and blue sea uh, they love uh, to see but still a bit of greenery would be also very nice uh, for them uh, because you know for disabled people like my mom she can't really walk uh, up the rock is not very uh, convenient uh, place really to take your and um, yeah anyway so yeah next time I'm going to try to find out about the ferry guys if also some of you do know where to find this information from because I was looking through all of the different sites and I can't find anything where actually uh, to book it how many times it, it's, it goes to Morocco uh, 
um, how much it cost, no idea, because I saw a long time ago, before the COVID, uh, and I saw it was only once a week, it was like Friday or Saturday, and it's overnight, and then come back or either on Sunday or Monday, and then someone told me it's actually two times a week, but didn't um, give me also information where actually to ask about it and how, how to book it, because wherever you're trying to search, it takes you to the sites for these ferries from Spain, not from Gibraltar. So uh, I think uh, if I will not find anything online, I will try to go to the port and ask them how, how can I obtain such an information. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's how it's going to be um, here to find uh, the information. Okay, so um, that's the plan for now. Let's see. I still have time for my, my dad to organize something. He, help, he will have his birthday in May. So um, hopefully, <laughs> maybe we will still have some answer for Brexit negotiations, fingers crossed, but I'm just, I'm like, I'm telling you, I, I am 90% sure there will be no deal. But that's just me, that's my opinion, so that's it. Well, that's all guys for now. Just wanted to give you a little bit of updates about this uh, Brexit uh, situation, deal, no deal. It's like in this program in the UK, when we used to live in the UK, I, I watched that program, Deal or No Deal. So, banker, <laughs> banker, <laughs> is it deal or no deal? Yeah, so this is the same situation right now, deal or no deal. We're going to find out maybe soon, but they say if it's not going to be uh, done by June, then there will be some election again in Spain, an election in UK, so then it's going to be uncertainty again. So, I... To be honest, I would have to say 90% I would, to, for me is no deal and um, also I still think it will be uh, nothing they will, they will tell us by June anyway, okay? So e either they will tell us no deal or they will tell us uh, we're going to continue negotiating after all this election and so it's another whatever, months or years or who knows what, what else is going to be happening. So that's how I feel it. That's how I see it, okay? I've been living here in Gibraltar for a while, <laughs> that's, that's how it looks like the things are going um, uh, all the time. So um, that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye. And hopefully the weather will improve, but no, 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 it's not. But it's nice and warm out there. It's nice and warm, but rainy and uh, blowy and um, yeah. Sun, where is my sun? Come back. <laughs> I'm not going to send you away anymore. <laughs> no, 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 we need it. <laughs> we need you. <laughs> Come back, please. <laughs> bye, everyone. Bye.